Hi, in today's short tutorial, I'm going to use Blender to try to make some space rocks. So here's Blender and here's a space rock I have made. Um, but let's make one together from scratch, okay? So let me full screen this and just open up a new Blender project, new general projects. And well, I don't have to save that one, I already have it. New general, don't save that. So you start a new project and you got the cube, okay? Camera and the light. I'm gonna be bringing this into Unity, so I'm gonna get rid of the camera and the light and delete. And we're gonna take this cube and turn it into our space rock. Um, first, let's give this cube some more sides. So let's go into edit mode. And what's an easy way to give me some more sides? I think I could just right click and say, um, is there a thing right here on the right click? Subdivide, bam, and now I got like four pieces to it. So let me select some of the faces and, you know, do some extruding. So I could press E or I could press the extrude thing right there and just pull out some faces, just trying to make it so that this is not just a plain flat, you know, square. Giving it some little bit of natural basic shape variety. Let's see. E is the shortcut key to do extruding. E. So if we look around, it's lumpy, it's bumpy. It's got, you know, shapes pulling out here and there. Two, three. What? Three. All right. Um, oh, and maybe over here, I think. So the more I do that, like the more randomness I'll have, like, you know, like a rock, all right? So I start off basically like this, and then now I'm gonna do some uh, modifiers on it, the shape. So let me do some modifiers on it. Let's go to select mode, add modifier. And the first one I guess will be remesh. And with the remesh, I'll go to smooth. And then I'll play around with the octree depth. Let's see. I had to do it in object mode so I could see it better. Yeah. All right. So I go to object mode so I could see it. So smooth. And I'm getting something like this. I still have these very flat sides over here. And this doesn't this doesn't look very natural. This thing's sticking out over here. So let me fix some of that. Um, go back to edit mode and take these, maybe some of these edges and just like rein them in. Let's bring that one in a little bit. And this one over here, bring that in a little bit. And this point over here, let's bring that in. That one there too. And these guys, they're just sticking out too hard. So let's put you in and down a little. And one of these sides looked too hard. I think it was like over here somewhere. So let me just take the corner and bring it in. And this part too is like too hard. Bring you in and Bring you in, and let's bring you out. I also think this part here was a little, so I'm just doing like eye touch up here. This edge was too high to me. So do that. And then that, everywhere where, you know, it looks too like man-made, I'm just trying to change it because rocks don't usually have like, they don't usually, I feel, have points that stick out like that. There's like no 90 degree edges. So I'm just trying to get rid of all the 90 degree edges. What is happening here? Let me take this face and shrink it. I said shrink it with the scale. Yeah, somehow this, 
got like a face inside a face. Let's just move it like that and maybe bring it in. Okay, and now we have this concavity here. Um, that feels better a little. Oh man, I got like sharp edges all over the place. But let's see what happens when I use the modifier again. So let me go look in object mode. I'm using mount, and then let me go to the modifiers. Let's do subdivision surface. Okay, so that kind of rounded it out a little bit better. And then let me add another one, um, remesh. Okay, it's looking kind of organic. Let me see if I put it on smooth. Hmm. I guess so. Kind of looks too organic. How about if I do sharp? Sharp looks a little better. And if I did simple, nope. So Catmull Clark. If I did this one a little bit more, then it's rounding it more. So I like that one at one. And for here, let me see if I give it more. No, I like it when it's less. That looks crystal. So I'll give it just that much so it could look more like rock. Is there any other modifier I may put on here? Decimate, takes away faces, planner, planner, decimation. And there you could see it's like, the angle limit, um, collapse. Let's see what that one does. You gotta be careful. I go too low and it, it looks very crystalline, you know? So if I go too low, I got a triangle. I'm gonna be high enough, I still look like a rock. So I just play around with some of the modifiers to get a, a random rocky shape, all right? Now let me apply everything. I'm in object mode, apply, apply, apply. And now I'm going to go and I want to put like a material on this guy. Let me just look at the cavity view. I like that view with the cavity. Ooh, maybe too crystalline, but let's see what happens. Let's go to UV editing. Okay, and let's try to put an image on here. So here I have the rock. Let me select all the faces and let me do a UV editing. I'm going to smart UV project and say, okay, there we go. Now, whatever image I'm going to have, it's going to have to be something that fits in there um, or something like that. So here I did a search for rock textures on Google, and I found this rock texture. So, And the thing is with the textures, I picked a seamless texture. That way, like near the edges, you don't see like a line. So I'll say save to the desktop, this space rock texture, and save it. I go back to Blender, and um, let's see the render mode here. We're going to put it to material so we can see material. Then we're going to click this material icon, and here um, we have the material and the base color. Right. So right now it's white. It could be changed to other colors. Right. Say so maybe you just want a solid color um, rock. You could do that if you wanted to. But I want to try to put a texture on there, so I'm going to go ahead and click this little circle next to base color, and then load an image texture. I want to define an image texture for the image. And I'll just have to say, OK, what texture do I want to use? So I'll say open. And I save that rock on my desktop, space rock, and say open. And now the um, space rock texture comes out here. It comes out here. And we can see the texture is like mapped onto the rock. OK? So now we have a space rock. And I want to save it so I could use it in Unity. So I had to save two things, the texture and the rock. So the texture, I already saved it on my desktop. With the rock, I have to save the rock mesh. So I'll go to Export, FBX, and I want the mesh. I want to apply transform, and there's no animations in it. I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I'll call it Space Rock. And uh, I'll call it Space Rock 02. And then I'll say export. 
working. So now I minimize that. I have the texture and I have the space rock. Okay. Now I'm going to go into Unity. Something I have open. Here's that other rock that I made that's already there. Now I want to bring in, let me just shrink this down. I want to bring in the texture and the FBX. So let me select both of these from my desktop, holding down the control key and drag and drop them into the game. Ba bam. And if I, the space rock right here, I want it to use a material instead of just like this, because if I have a whole bunch of rocks flying across the screen, each one's going to load up the material to um, texture itself. But I don't want the game to get slowed down by that since it's the same texture. So what I did was I'll, I'll turn this material into, I'll turn this texture into a material. Now I did it before here with space rock, with this first rock, but I'll show you how I did it. I, I just easily made a material. I just kind of like added in a game object in here. All right, and then I just drag and drop the material onto it. I mean, the texture onto it. And that <clears throat> that automatically has Unity make a texture, Space Rock, okay? So that's how I made a material, but I already have one. And the texture, it's over here and there. So I already have that too, so I could get rid of this. Delete, delete. So now this um, object, when I click on it in the asset window, I can, Let's make this maximized. I can assign it a material, and here is space rock. I'll click that and say apply. So now this rock is using the material in the material folder. If I drag this in here, you can see I got the rock there. This cube, this cube could go away now. I only use it for a purpose of making a material. So now I got the two rocks, and um, let's go look at the material that's on those two rocks. The special thing I put on the material. If you click on the material and you look in the inspector window, the special thing I did was enable GPU instancing. That way it loads the material once into memory and uses it over and over again for all of the objects that use that same material. It's like an optimization. And that's why I wanted to make a material like that. And the other thing I noticed was like specular highlights. It didn't really make a difference when I'm viewing the rock. So I turned that off. Reflections, that made a difference. So I left that on. And that's the setting for the material. So that's how you make, that's how I made uh, some space rocks. And you can see like with the method, they kind of look random and different, you know? So you can make a couple of different ones. And then I guess you can make some small and some big. And maybe when the ship hits a big one, it kind of breaks apart into smaller ones like asteroids. But for this tutorial, um, that's where I stop. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.